Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something a little bit different than my usual setup. I'm actually sharing how I do my off-camera flash setup on a wedding day. And since coronavirus has kind of taken over, I don't have a wedding for a little while now. So I decided I'm just gonna share it with you here. This is exactly how I set up my flashes that will be set up throughout a reception um, for a wedding day. So I'm gonna share with you all the different gear that I use at Real Weddings, and I will link it all down below. So for the stands themselves, these are the Manfrotto stands. I have two of them. I don't always have two flashes off my camera on a wedding day, but sometimes I do, so I always bring two. My usual setup is at least one off-camera flash. So I will share with you how I would do one and then how I would do a second flash as well. So. These stands I really like because they actually interlock into each other. So it makes um, carrying them around on a wedding day really, really easy. Uh, let me put this down. And I'm just gonna put this here while I talk to you guys. Okay, so this is how I would start setting them up. I would find, um, let's just imagine that behind me, this is the stage. Either this is the band, the DJ, wherever the music is gonna be coming from, that's where I start this whole setup process. I will pull out as many stands and flashes as I need and then um, go from there. So the first thing I do is make it about this height. The first thing I'm gonna put on my stand is my trigger. So this is gonna be what communicates with all my flashes. Now, you might not use a trigger, you might have built-in triggers. So my flashes do have a built-in trigger, but sometimes I want to fire um, the flash from my camera without a flash on it. So this little trigger will talk to the off-camera trigger and I'll be able to set it off throughout the room even without a flash on my camera. So it just gives me an increased amount of flexibility and I can do a little bit more with my triggers. It's just what I use, but you might not need a trigger for your setup. So next thing I do is I take my flash and I slide it onto the trigger. Now, if you don't have a trigger, you just slide it onto the cold shoe on your stand. So now you're almost set up. You could stop and leave it at this, or you can add a modifier. I do like to use an umbrella. I just think it gives um, a really soft, better quality of light. Um, I like to use a white shoot through umbrella. So that's what I'll do here. There is, um, a hole inside of this stand for your umbrella. So you might have to get an attachment for your stand so that you can stick an umbrella through. Um, I'll link what I have done on Amazon because you can always add extra fittings and whatever you need to do for your light stand. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it to the side so that you can see. So once the flash is on, and then I'm just gonna turn this so that this directs here. So you can, you can set this up a variety of ways, but I just wanna make sure that my flash goes directly into my umbrella. So once you've decided what modifiers you're gonna use for your light, maybe you just use a bare flash, that's fine too. Um, or maybe use a soft box like fixture around the whole flash. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can do this. But once you're happy with it, then you'd go ahead and you'd turn everything on. Um, I know that with my system, with Nikon and with Pocket Wizards, which is what I use, you have to turn everything on top to bottom for everything to properly set up. So that's what I do. And then from there, you'd go ahead and just raise the flash up to whatever height you want for the room that you're in or um, the situation that you have in front of you. So I'm just gonna leave this here for today's purposes. And then I would set up the second flash if I was gonna have a second flash. Um, and then from there, set up my on-camera flash. So if I had a flash on my camera, I would turn it on top to bottom. You do flash, trigger, camera. But since I just have the trigger and then I just have my camera, I can go ahead and just turn that on and then I press the sync button and okay, we are fully set up. So the next thing to think about after your flashes are fully set up is where you're gonna put them. And I like to put my flashes near the speaker system or near like the edges of the band um, or the DJ, wherever everything is gonna kind of be off to one side because oftentimes you have the catering staff walking around, you have uh, guests that are dancing and it's you just want to make sure that your flashes are 
put off to the side enough, but they still aim for the dance floor. So assuming that this fireplace is maybe your DJ and on either side of the fireplace, you would have a speaker. I would go ahead and leave this flash pretty much where it is, but I'm going to turn it towards our dance floor and then I'm going to put it up at the highest possible height and then aim it down. Um, so you can actually tilt the head of your um, like flash down and tilt the whole stand down so that the umbrella tilts down with it. And then I'm going to put this off into the corner and I'm going to stand at a 90 degree angle to it so that I'm getting that really soft, beautiful flashlight. And then whatever's happening on my camera, maybe there's some natural light coming in, maybe there's no natural light at all, and I put a fill flash here, I know that I'm gonna be able to complement what's happening here. So this is my basic setup for a reception and I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions about how I set up my off-camera flash or the order of things, um, please let me know. Uh, throw it down in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer your questions or do a follow-up video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys!